Marcus Scott, the reporting on the the state of our elections. The state of our elections. Are the elections rigged? Are the elections real in America? Are the elections rigged in America? And more so, are the polling of the elections, the polling when we go out into the community, and we ask people, say, hey, what's the, uh, who, would you, who, who do you like for the uh, presidential election, right? Are they, are they real or are they fake? Well, it seems that the latest results coming in on the presidential Democratic primary seem to be skewered, skewered in some way, right? It doesn't seem to mesh up with what people are saying in the in the street. So, I'm introducing the the Washington Square poll, the Washington Square Park poll, Washington Square New York City Park poll, Marcus Conti's more Washington City Square Park poll today, right? So I was out in the park yesterday. <laughs> You'll love this, man. So I did a poll. I polled 100 people, and I gave them the 21, the 21 Democratic uh, announced candidates. And I put it on a piece of paper, and here it is. Right? I'm not going to give it away. I'm going to give you <laughs> – you're going to have to wait for the results, but the, uh, you'll see. And, and I'm going to show you a video, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to analyze the results. And we're going to analyze – we're going to compare those results, my findings. We're going to compare my findings to the, the findings of – all of the very, very expensive and, and sophisticated polling uh, places out there. We'll look at Quinnipiac, Change Research, CBOAO, Morning Consultant, Harrison X, right? We'll compare, right? That's all we can do, right? All we can do is walk out into the community and find out who do people want to vote for. So, so check this out, man. Stand by and we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll talk about the results. Hello. Marcus Conti reporting from Washington Square Park in New York City. Taking a poll. Ah, the elections are rigged, right? Hmm. The polling is rigged. Not only is the election rigged, but the polling is rigged. You heard, huh? So here we are amongst the people. Here's the poll. And here's the polling station. You want to vote? Hi. Could you kindly, would you like to vote in uh, for a presidential? <laughs> she crossed into my path. Crossed into my path. So we're going to see, right? CNN poll rigged. The Ramison poll rigged. They're all rigged. What? MSNBC rigged. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to find out the truth. I got 100 ballots, all 21 names, Democrats only. All the 21s, they're in alphabetical order, fair and square. Alphabetical order from first name. Okay. And we'll see what happens, right? 100 votes. And, and, and the, 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 the award goes to the, to, the top, to the top candidate. You said you're 19, you're voting this time for the first time? Yes. Wow. Are you uh, excited about it? It's very controversial, all the things you hear about voting, whether you should or shouldn't. But at this point, I mean, I'm vegan as well, and we oh, don't really you. do plastic. So, like, anything really helps, you know? And then I had to teach myself most of this stuff. Um, this is not the first... Uh, station like yours or question I've had or interview I've had in this park uh, about this like someone asked me if uh, we should pay taxes for people to go to college and that's another thing to consider is there's so much to consider and it's it's hard to know but this is a great stand because uh, it lets people stay aware and also learn new names so I'm grateful thank you yeah
Do you, do you trust that the election is is uh, is legitimate? As no, what we've seen in, two, in 2016, we saw a bit of a, a lot of shenanigans. Well, even back in the early 2000s and 2001, I mean, what's to believe? Is it an inside job? Is it? Is it? What is it? You know, right. like who's behind Trump? Is what I want to know. Who's behind the curtain? So. Right. So Bernie Sanders, huh? So what, what doesn't he get? Tell me about it. He doesn't get what it's like to be a non-white person in this culture, in this society. And for somebody who grew up in Brooklyn, who has the infrastructure and uh, advisement that right. could educate him, WTF, what's going on there, dude? Right. It, it doesn't make sense, right? He's a good guy. He's, he's for all people, but he doesn't connect. He doesn't, Bernie, you don't connect with the black community. What's up with that? And I would say black, brown, green. I mean, I don't know. You what identify as a black man? I didn't even know you were yeah. black until you just know. Until you just mentioned it. <laughs> okay. And you know, I was at a demonstration. Let's see, his, let's for see his hair is longer. I think I got. I think I got maybe an inch on. Uh. President's Day, yeah. and I was hearing all these very avid Bernie supporters trying to advocate Bernie Kamala Harris ticket. Yeah. On the level that if he dies in office, we'll get a brown president or black president. <laughs> I said, like, wow, that's a logic I, woo! <laughs> just say no, Joe. Just say, say no, Joe. He's, he's, he's like, not for listen to Nancy nope. Reagan for a minute. Just say no. Mm, gotcha. <laughs> on, one, on one hand, you have like Fox News spouting the right, and then on the other hand, you have supposedly like neutral, like site, um, just like uh, reporters like CNN and MSNBC, but you know they're clearly like the arm of the like left wing party, or so, not even really, not even the arm of the left wing part of the establishment, I should right. say. You know what I mean? Like, the, why do you think it is? Why do you think that's the case? Man, well, because most of these are corporate entities, man. Like MSNBC, they're owned by like NBC, Universal, right. you know, that stuff like that. So they're not gonna go Comcast. against. Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. They're owned by corporations, right. and like. And that's what exactly what some of these progressive like politicians are fighting against. You know, these huge corporations that control everything. You know, and it's 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 that the like, media. The media has so, in other words, the one with CNN, right? That yeah, was, yeah, yeah. That's rigged because they can't pick. They put Biden ahead because he's the corporate uh, exactly. the corporate yeah, pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's like he's their uh, he's their golden boy. You know, and just right. like Hillary was. You know, like you could right. you could see it like every time I I want like just. Like just like news reporting, you can you always see a skew wherever you go. It, right. it's, it's 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 insane. Right. You know, like I saw an interview with like Joe Biden uh, on um on uh, CNN. I'm like, who the hell cares what Joe Biden thinks? Like? You know, I was right. like, are you serious? And, right. she, they and were he's just the like, front runner. How is that possible? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, you know, they they polled right the CNN poll. Mm. They only polled uh, people over fifty. Right, right, right. And people with a with a landline. Ah, uh, right? you have yeah. a landline? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Five hours and 100 votes later, up here in Washington Square Park, I got the results. They're right here. 
I got them. I didn't count them yet. Just want to give you a uh, an idea of the type of people, the cross section of the people here in Washington Square Park. It's definitely a it's definitely a mixed bag. Oops. Right. It's a lot of young people, a lot of old people. It's a lot of tourists, mixed races, blacks, whites, everybody. Nobody, nobody in particular. Okay. That's the fountain. It's really a beautiful day. It was hard to wrestle people down to vote. I learned some stuff. I think you're going to be surprised at the results. Right. New York City. It's really, really, it's really, really, um, it's a crowded day in the park. There's a lot of people out in the park. It's a perfect day to survey. It's exhausting. Five hours. It took five hours to get a hundred people to, to vote. What was the question I asked them? If the Democratic Party, if the Democratic primary was held today, which one of these 21 candidates would you vote for? That was the question I asked. Right, just stay in the park, right? <laughs> what do you think won? What do you think won? Oh, you fucking, you fucking, you fucking, you fucking stick that shit right in there, right? How do you think won, right? I'm not going to give it away yet. I'll give it away. Right? <laughs> uh, so that was the day out in the park. But check this out, man. So here's the here's the polling. Let's look at the results, right? I'm going to give you the I'm going to give you the actual my results first, but let's look at what the uh, the shill the pay for play uh, uh, pollings are. I'm at 5:38, and uh, that's Nate Silver. Oh, Nate Silver, the genius poller, the genius poller. You must now include the the Washington Square Park poll by Marcus Conti as part of your. Very sophisticated research, actual research, actually walking up to people and saying, if the election was held today, who would you vote for? Not not calling landlines and people that, you know, that are in old age homes and are in jail or wherever the hell you guys call. Right? You fake shit. Right? It's fake. Right? I gave you the real shit. Right? I'm going to give you the real results in a second. Right? So, so yesterday's poll, right, according to, let's look at um, change research. Change research is the only... One, as of yesterday, it has Sanders at 30%. Sanders, 30, Biden, 26, uh, Buttigieg, 12, Warren, 9, Harris, 8, O'Rourke, 3, Delaney, 2, Booker, 2, and the rest are all, all twos and ones, right? The surprise there is, is, uh, is Tulsi Gabbard only getting 1%. That's still, it, that's surprising. I don't, I don't understand. Again, it's name brand recognition. Sanders is Sanders has the name, right? The people know who he is, and Biden by default as well. But let's 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 continue, right? So all of the May six that was yesterday, and that was May seventh. So in one day, right, the day before, everybody has Biden at forty percent, and Sanders nineteen, Warren eight, Harris seven, right? That is the Morning Star, more I'm sorry, Morning Consultant. Harris X has Biden 46%, Sanders 14%, Budabeg, right? Bullshit, right? Firehouse, 48% Biden, 12% Sanders. Uh, another firehouse, 34%, 16% Sanders. It's just such bullshit, right? It's all fucking lies. Excuse me. Uh, so, <clears throat> all right, so... On May 3rd, Biden 44%, according to Harris. Right. Where's Quinnipiac? Quinnipiac had their, their stuff up as well. Um, here's the CNN poll. Biden, yeah, Biden 39% to Sanders 15. What a lie. What a lie. Quinnipiac, here it is, 38% to, uh, they didn't even have Sanders second. Right. So, Biden 38, Warren 12, Sanders 11, right? So you could see there is a pattern of pushing Joe Biden, Joe Biden, right? Joe Biden as the, as the presidential Democratic hopeful to beat Donald Trump, right? All, 
all throughout April. You go all the way back to April 29. Emerson had him had Biden at 23 percent. Morningstar, Biden 36. Sanders. Sanders at 18 percent. This is before Biden. I guess Biden 12. Anyway, right. So so according to all of the very sophisticated polling, Ber Joe Biden is landsliding the field. He's blowing everybody out. Right? If you Google, if you Google uh, Democratic primary polls, Joe Biden, 27 percent. Hands off. Who, who did it? I don't know. Vox. Vox is reporting 27 percent uh, to Bernie Sanders, 20 percent. Harris, 8 percent. Uh, Pete Budabeg, 8 percent. Right. No, Elizabeth Warren at 6 percent. All right, so ready? You ready for my results? Blah, 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 drum roll. I'll get a drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. I don't have a drum. All right, so here it is. Pow! The results. Blah, blah, blah. Bernie Sanders landslides. Blows out the field. Blows everybody out. Look at this result, right? This is... <clears throat> my result was... A, I, I used 106. Although the numbers are very small, it's very revealing what's going on, right? I, I had, I thought I had a hundred. <laughs> I forgot to count the ballots before I started, right? I, I made copies. I made 50 copies and I had them, I had them, um, you know, set up. Oh, I'll show you the, let me show you the ballot. I didn't even show you. The, I'll show you guys the ballot. Where's the ballot? Where's the ballot? No, here it is. Here's the, uh, so yeah, this is what the ballot looked like, right? Fair and square, right? So, it says basically on the top of the, on the top, it says 2020, you got it on a clipboard, 2020 Democratic primary, circle one. Very simple. Very, there's nothing sophisticated. I didn't ask any trick questions. I said, if the, if the Democratic primary were held today, pick one. If they say, oh, if Trump, right, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Republican. I said, okay, thank you very much. And I let him go, right? But in the, in, in blue state, New York, the center of Manhattan, the village, it, it's mostly Democrats. So it was, a, it was safe to ask, who are you going to pick in the Democratic primary? And this is what they saw, right? These are the 21 declared in alphabetical order, first name, right? I didn't, I didn't skew it. I didn't bold anybody. I didn't push anybody up front. I just listed them alphabetical order, first name, right? Here's Bernie, number three. You got Joe Biden in the middle, you got Tulsi Gabbard down here, right? In alphabetical order, right? That's what that's how that's what people looked at, right? So no funny business, right? There's no funny business. All I did, I was not wearing a hat. You saw what I was wearing. I wasn't wearing any campaign uh stuff whatsoever. I would just walk up to someone and say, that was the that's the mythology the the uh mythology, I guess it's called, the the method by which I used. All right. So that's so that's what it looked like. And these are the results, right? I took the, every ballot, I put it into the box. I took these ballots, right? Here they are. If anybody ever wants to audit my, my, my record, here it is. Here it is. They're in alphabetical order. And these are the results of 106. So I'm going to call it percentage. I'm not, I know 106 is more than 100, right? <laughs> but roughly, let's just call it percentages, right? Margin of error, whatever. 106. So, Bernie Sanders got 38% of the vote, right? 38% of the vote, right? It just, he blew the, blows out the field, right? Blows it out, right? Number two, this is a surprise. Elizabeth Warren, 16% of the vote, right? She's the, she's the close second. Bernie Sanders doubled, more than doubled the closest competitor in the Washington Square Park poll. More than double. There's the number right there. 36 to 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 16, right? You got you got Beto O'Rourke at nine and Joe Biden. So Beto O'Rourke and Joe Biden are competing for third in this poll, right? Came in third. They're not competing. Polls over, right? Third place, right? Uh, fourth, Camilla Harris, five, Cor fifth place, Cory Booker. That was very surprising. A lot of kids know who Cory Booker is, mostly because where it's New York, we're close to New Jersey, maybe. I, I don't know. But Cory Booker, you got a lot of smiles out of you. Yeah, Cory Booker, right? 
Um, Andrew Yang, too. That was a surprise. Andrew Yang. People, oh, yeah, Andrew Yang. And the big po Pete Budabeg, right? The big favorite. Oh, he's so, he's so popular, right? He came in uh, below Yang. And then, then you know, uh, Kristen Gillibrand and uh, Seth Moulton got a vote. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard got uh, 2%. Amy Klobuchar won, Dan, uh, John Delaney, John Hicken Looper, and uh, Marianne Wilson, Williamson. The rest got zeros, right? So, so I mean, I mean, the advice to the Democratic Party is take everybody, every all the one percenters and the zero percenters, drop out already. Why do you got to put your name on the ballot, right? Because that's the strategy, right? That is the strategy, right, Democrats? Diffuse the float. First, lie about the favorite, right? Lie about the favorite, Joe Biden. He's not the favorite. Right? He didn't get even 10% of the vote. And when it comes down to it, he's not going to get 1% of the vote. He's a one percenter. Uh, so, so there it is. I mean, I, I don't know how else to spell it out, but that's the result of this. Uh, that's the real shit right there. That is the real shit. Uh, Marcus Conti reporting on the real, the real state of the Democratic primary. Right, Right out into the public. No strings attached, no phone calls, no funny business, no skewering the vote, no no setting up this vote and saying, you know, putting people in, in asking trick questions, leaving other people off the off the um, off the ballot, right? People calling people in a in a, in an old age home, right, for Joe Biden, right? Honest poll, right? No, no strings attached. Right? So there you go, man. Marcus Conti reporting, if you like this work, kindly become a uh, Patreon of this channel. We're just getting started. And uh, if you want to make a one-time contribution at um, PayPal me. And uh, also, if you'd like to buy some stickers on eBay, the stickers that are floating around, uh, just go to eBay and uh, Marcus Conti stickers and uh, you can pick up some stickers. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, uh, kindly subscribe. This is, uh, an ongoing, this is ongoing work. We're not done yet. And uh, if you if you are subscribed, subscribe again because YouTube is playing you know playing games and trying to chop us down a little bit. Marcus Conti reporting.